So in this channel, we have a lot of videos about how to work with the open AI and how to work with the Spring Boot applications, how to connect your Spring Boot applications to the open AI with the APIs. But what if you want to run your models locally and also you want to have the UI inbuilt for your models. In the previous video, we saw that how we can work with Olama model and how we can work with the Spring Boot application to connect to that Olama model. But in this video, let's discuss one thing further. Let's discuss how to have the UI for that model as well, because everyone will not be comfortable with the terminal as a developer, you should, but for heavy lifting, for doing a lot of AI work to have the prompts written and to get a lot of data back. If there is a UI that will have a better understanding that will assist us better to get the result much faster. So let's discuss how we can run the Olama model locally, what are the different models available and how we can have the UI for that as well. Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to Daily Code Buffer. This is Shabir and we create a lot of awesome videos regarding the Spring Boot, Spring AI, microservices and lot more. So if you're interested around in such topics, then hit the subscribe button below and get notified of all those new videos. In the previous section, what we saw was we installed the Olama locally and we ran one model as well. So if you come here to olama.com, it allows us to install a software that is Olama and we can run a different models to it. So if you come here to the download section, here you can see that there are different options available to download Olama in your machine, be it Mac OS, Linux and Windows. Once you download it, Olama will be installed in your system. Once the Olama is installed in your system, you will be able to access Olama using the terminal. Okay. So once this is installed, be it any of the operating system, you should be good. And then you have to run some models to it. So to run a model, you need to come to this model section here and here you can see that there are a lot of different models available. So you need to choose a model which is most applicable to you because all the different models have their own different capabilities. Now, one of the models will be better in giving you the summarization of the prompt that you give or some of the model will be better in giving you the coding aspect, giving you the code of the problem. Some of the model will be better in giving you the image output and so on. Okay. So if you go to this section, you will be able to see a lot of different models available. And for those different models, you will get the understanding as well. Like what this model is doing, what this model is doing and what are the advantages and what are the capabilities of this model. And based on that model, you will also see, suppose we take the example of Llama 3.2, you can see that there are different versions of this model and what is the size of the model available as well. Based on the different size, you will need a better storage and better computing power as well. Okay. So that something you need to keep in your mind. So once you ad identify that, okay, this is a model that I want to use in my machine. You come here, you select a model, you select the tag as well, you like which version of the model that you want to use. And based on that, you will get this command that is Olama run and model name. That's it. You just select that particular thing that Olama run this model name and you have to run in your machine. So suppose if you are selecting one B, then here you can see that you will get Olama run Llama 3.2 colon. That's the version that is one B. So copy this version and you need to go to your terminal. So let me just go to the terminal and just run this. And here you can see that it will start pulling the model for you and it will start running the model for you. This model available in my system. So it is not pulling it up because we saw the same thing in the previous videos as well. So it just started the model and here you can see that it is a terminal available where I can run my commands. So here you can see that say, saying that send a message and whatever I say, it will run the prompt for me. So suppose I'm saying why is sun yellow? and it should give me the answer to that. Okay. So this is a basic model that we are running in your local, but you can see that everything is terminal based. If I have to work with rag implementation, if I have to give any file to summarize that file, there are a lot of things that we have to do and doing with command, it is a very tedious thing. Okay. So what we can do is we can have the UI as well to that. Okay. So for that, what we will do is we'll go to this Olama section here and we'll go to the GitHub section. Okay. So once you come here to the GitHub section, this is the entire Olama code here. Okay. And it has all the uh, description, how to run Olama locally, how to have the code uh, set up locally and everything. Okay. So different models and every information is available. But if you scroll down here, yeah, you can see that this is the community integrations where 
Olama model has been used and here you can see that we have a web and desktop UI available. So you can see that there are a bunch of different UI available. Okay, how you can connect your Olama model to and you can see that in top we have the open web UI. Okay, let's talk about the open web UI first. This is the open source uh, UI for your Olama models. If you have any of the models working in Olama and Olama is installed locally, then this UI will be able to connect to that model to connect to the Olama and you will get a proper UI working. You will be able to get everything working with the proper UI. So this is the complete code for it. This has you can see that this is something similar to what ChatGPT looks. So you'll be very familiar to use this UI as well. So it has all the instructions about how you can set up locally, how you can check out this code and run that locally. Or if you have Docker installed in your system, you can directly run Docker for this open UI and you can directly connect to your Olama models. Okay. So here you can see that this is the command that you have to use to connect to your Olama. If you have Olama working on the different servers, then you can use this command where you need to pass the Olama base URL. So all this bunch of different things available. You just follow this page and you'll be able to start working with the open web UI. So what we will do is I have Docker installed in my machine. So let's just start with the Docker. So if I scroll down here, uh, okay. So here you can see that this is the command where if Olama is on your computer, use this command with the Docker. So the command is Docker run hyphen D is in daemon mode and uh, the port is 3000 which is exposed in your local machine and 8080 is the port in the docker environment then it is adding the host environment so it can connect to your local host and it is adding the volumes as well like where the data will be stored and the name of the container okay and restart is always means if your server is down if your container is down it will restart the application okay so this is a simple docker command i'm just copying it and what I'm doing is I'm going to terminal, open a new tab and making sure that Docker is running. Yeah, Docker is running. You can see that Docker is running. So let me just clear this console and run this command. Okay. So if you do not have this image available, then it will download this image that is this one. And if you have this image, then it will just start the container for you. Okay. I already have this image available. So it should start the container for me. So here you can see that as I already had the image, it just started the container for me and this is the container ID. Okay. If you do not have this container, this image available, then it will download the image for you. So it will take a minute of time to download this image. So once it is downloaded, okay, it should be working in your local host on port 3000 because that's the port that we have given. Okay. And what we have to do is we have to go to the browser and we will go to local host and port 3000. Okay, so here you can see that this is the localhost open web UI that has been installed in your machine via Docker. And here you can see that it is asking for you to sign up. I don't like this that for your local also you need to sign up, but this is what it is. Okay, so you just create your account and sign into it. I already have the account, so let me just sign in. So here you can see that I have already logged into my system. Okay, and here you can see that this is the beautiful UI of open web UI. And here you can see that it is similar to what we see in a chat GPT. Here you can see that we have a big text box to add our prompt. We have few suggestions and we will have the new chat options, the model that we can use. You can see that this is the model that we have been using that is Llama 3.21B. And we can select that model and set it as default as well. And let's ask the same question. Why the sun is yellow? and it should uh, give me some data here as it is running in your local it will take some time based on the processing power of your system okay so here you can see that it is uh, getting me some data and those data is also saved here in the history as well and uh, you can go to the settings and you can see there are a lot of different settings available you can change the theme you can add the system prompts you can change the interface how you want to change the different aspects of the interface all those things you can change here you can personalize to many things you can see there is a admin dashboard available okay and within the dashboard you can see all the different users available so whatever you logged in all those users will be available here so there are a bunch of things available within this ui and you can see there is if you go to the chat option you have the option to upload the files and summarize those files as well so there are a lot of things available within the open web ui so this is a basic start that you can do to run your 
models locally with Olama and you to have a UI on top of that as well. So this is the one of the UI that we talked about that is the open web UI. It has a lot of different functionalities. You can just explore it running in your local machine and also let me know which is the best feature that you liked about this open web UI. There are different other UI options also available for Olama. Just go through these options and if you want to have a dedicated video on any of those then do let me know in the comment section below as well that you need a video on this. I will try to create a video on this and explaining how we can work with it, how we can configure a lot of things. But for open web UI, if you come here and you can see that there is an option to run your code locally and then you have a different options to configure it as well. So just follow this document and run your, this model in locally, run this repo locally and you will have a lot of different options to work around. But if you just want to start it, there's a docker command you can directly start working with the docker as well. So this is the overall picture about how to run the Olama models locally, which of the different models that you want to run Olama with and also to have a complete functioning UI for your models that are running locally. So it's you can see that it's a basic complete chat GPT running for you in local and it will not connect to the outside internet. So if you want to have a system where you want to have the AI capabilities running within your system to not have any outside boundary to have the privacy of the information you can do this thing as well. So this is all I wanted to share you today regarding this open web UI and Olama. If you have any doubts regarding any of the things then do let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos. Mm -hmm. I will see you in the next video. Till then happy coding. Bye bye.